Hello everybody, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. In the last episode, we started the game, and we got some crops going, and we left off with getting to level 2 foraging. Weather tomorrow is beautiful sunny. Uh, you might wonder why that matters. You're really going to want to know if it's going to rain the next day. Good humor, good. Uh, living off the land. This one's for you folks living in Stardew Valley. Check for spring onions southwest of town. Why this specific tiny town in the middle of nowhere? Where the river meets the ocean. You can sometimes find a whole bunch growing right out of the dirt. Yeah, we did find those. Those are good to find just for forging experience. In fact, we're already level 2, which is pretty impressive. Although I do tend to focus almost exclusively on forging for the first few days. Dear Farmer Rob, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old, co old cottage when we first met. It's really a nice little house. However, you might need some space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I could expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With the kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. Your local carpenter, Robin. Gotta love Robin. Well, it's not raining today, so unfortunately we will have to water our crops. And this is actually going to be something that we're kind of stuck with for most of the game with this beach farm, since normally you'd be able to plant sprinklers, given we're not going to get sprinklers for a while, but unfortunately we're going to be stuck with uh, just watering manually for a bit. All right, all watered. Now, hmm, I'm not sure what my goal for the day is. Trying to remember off the top of my head when certain things unlock. The fact that that has a name on it makes me think I can go there now. Well, no, that's not true. Well, yeah, it could be true. Anyway, uh, let's just go into town. We still have a few people we have to meet. I guess I'm going to work on getting my fishing level up. Ignoring anything else because I think it's important to get fishing up uh, as soon as you can just so you can get those delicious fish. Also, early game, fishing is the easiest way to get a lot of money a lot of fast. So, I'm gonna focus on that. Uh, doesn't seem like we unlocked much of anything. Always check the trash. People usually don't even let you in their house until a good amount of time. Look at this. So, there will be a little exclamation point there when there is help wanted. I'm looking for a dandelion to dry for next winter. 120 G on delivery and Jody will be pleased. Oh, wait, is there another one? Did I not take it? I accept it. That's easy to do. If I find a dandy lion while going out, that's that'll be just dandy lion. Uh, otherwise, I'll just go and grab one from my chest and bring it over to Jody. Uh, Jody is the mom of the kids in the bottom left house of Pelican Valley. If you forgot, hello, Maru. Plan on spending a lot of time with this telescope this summer. She's a science girl. You'll learn that real quickly about her. Uh, we haven't gone fishing in the river, so I think that's where I'm going to go first. But however, Robin did invite us, so it's locked until nine. Okay, well, I have the hoe. Y'all thought I wasn't ready. Just some clay. Guess I'll cut some trees down while I wait. Wow, it takes so long to cut down a tree this early that it basically filled up the whole 30 minutes. Yo, what's poppin'? Uh, let's see. So there's a few things we can do here. You can shop for some basic stuff. Windows that can be placed on your wall as if it's like a poster. Um, some house plants, topiary tree, mostly decorations. I don't think I'll be buying the totem pole, thank you. A calendar. Does it actually work as a calendar, I wonder? Workbench, I'll be grabbing that for sure. Telephone, some more TVs to make it more... Nice, I suppose. Log, log section. I think you can sit on that. I don't know. Fireplace, bed. And then you can buy some recipes, which I'm going to want to buy all of them eventually. Oh, there's a lot. Wow. Ignoring that. You can upgrade your house for 10,000 gold and 450 pieces of wood. It's good to keep that in mind so you know whenever you have enough wood for the job. Or you can construct farm buildings. This is going to be important for us since we don't really have a good way to get crops going on the beach farm. So I'm going to be relying on a lot of these for other sources of income. A well can act like a source of water, which doesn't matter because we're on a whole beach. Silo, where we're going to get soon. Of course, we don't have bronze yet. A mill would be nice. We don't need that until summer, really. 
The shed, it's basically like a TARDIS thing. It takes up a few spots on the overworld, but you can fill it with a ton of stuff. Fish pond. I'm actually going to play with this a lot because, again, it's another source of income that we'll get. Uh, I'll explain them as we do these things, of course, and a stable, which is good for uh, movement. A lot of these, like, we won't be getting an iridium bar for a long, long, long time. Don't worry about that. You can also get a new shipping bin, which I believe is new with 1.4. Anyway, this is our goal. We want this first, then we can work on a barn. It's a bit more expensive. 100 wood, or 300 wood, 100 stone, 4,000 G. I'm going to be working on that. Don't you worry. Anyway, uh, I look, oh, yes, leak. Thank you. Finally, I'll be able to make that uh, wild seed packet thing. Is this open yet? No. I would have sworn it would have been open. So yeah, I'm just going to continue foraging. I'm going to see if I can catch the very, very few people that we need left. Yo. We're very lucky to have a library in such a small town. Yeah, that's true. Libraries are becoming rare in big towns, even. Uh, notice that even though she's on screen, I'm still far enough to rummage and get a broken CD. Ugh. Some trash is useful, some isn't. Uh, so this last person I'm looking for is actually in Marnie's house here, which we haven't actually come here while the store's open before. Now it is, though. He is not here. <laughs> Good. You can buy supplies. None of this we really need yet, unless you want some decorations, but... Then we can also buy animals. Again, none of which we can get, so... Don't worry about that until we have coops or barns. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of that from the kids. Okay, I'm gonna go. This is Leah's house. You can't go in at all until you have friendship with her. I'm gonna go crazy with the fishing. So let's get to it. Oh, wait, no. I'm gonna wanna empty out my inventory before I do that because you can catch a lot of different kinds of fish at different qualities. Uh. Oh yeah, one thing I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna grab my daffodils, my horseradishes, my leeks, I have a silver rank one, and my... Am I missing something? My daff- my dandelions. I'm gonna use those to craft wild seeds. And those sell for more money than if you were to sell everything separately. <laughs> and that's why I was uh, looking for all of them. Alright, like always, there's a couple of different fish that you can grab from the river. Hopefully I'm able to catch one soon. The ocean is basically going to be your best chance for fishing anywhere, by the way. It gives the most expensive fish to sell. And you just get better bite rates there, because here you can get trash. Although we finally got lucky. Now I'd like to be able to get to level 1 fishing today, if that's all possible. What we got? Smallmouth bass. You love to see it. My fishing level went up, as you can tell, because my bar is just slightly, slightly bigger. Hold on, before you go, before you go, I have an item for you. This is uh, Sam. He likes Joja Colas. He's the only person that does. Oh, you know what I just outright forgot? I forgot about the dandelion. When does that go bad? I have another day to do that, so hopefully I'll be able to do that tomorrow if possible. Anyway, I'm going to spend some time fishing. Oh, come on, please. I need it. I need it. Thank you. So, I will tell you, the longer it takes for you to catch the fish, the slower that meter is going to go up. So you're really going to, if you go for the treasure chest, make sure you're on it. Good lord. Alright, what are we going to get? Unfortunately, this is going to fill up my inventory a little bit. Bait! I can't use that yet, but thank you. It's not a bad thing to get for sure. The rare double treasure chest from Fish Catch. Oh my god, that's re Oh. I get to try out something that I've been wondering for a long, long time. Raishu is actually a crop. 
And you'll notice that it was on that list, but we couldn't buy it. You can get it from many different sources, treasure chests being one of them. You know what? I'm going to cut my fishing day a little short. I know that I wanted to get a lot of fishing, but I already hit level 10, so I'm happy. I'm hungry. Where's mom? Uh, you want food? No one likes fish. I, I want to do it, but I can't. I can't bring myself to do it. The only person that at, like, at all moderately likes fish is Willy. So he loves certain kinds, he likes other kinds, many others he's just neutral to. So don't bother giving people fish. It's not worth the chance that you're taking. Ooh, ooh, I need a hoe. Don't we all though? Um, okay, so I do, I need a hoe anyway, actually. Go ahead and get rid of all my fish. I did get a silver rank sunfish, so that'll be worth a lot, a bit more money, not a lot more money. Put all my bait in there. So guess I can stack the driftwood. I'm gonna grab my hoe, as we do, and I'm gonna go near the water. So, the way that rice works is if it is planted near water, it'll be irrigated. And it works with ocean water, yes! I was wondering that because no sources had any information on that that I could find, and I didn't want to play, you know, deep enough to get rice. Uh, to find out or not and luckily it appears that they can oh wait whoa what's these two didn't get irrigated but these two did that's very interesting can i hoe these spots no that's what i thought that's why i did that far away i'd say i wonder if it's because they're surrounded by weeds but that can't be it because this one has a logged next to it and it's irrigated that's so weird to me looking at it in post i believe it's because the corner tiles of water is closer to the rice shoots than the straight out tiles of water since a diagonal plot only counts as one space and you need to be within three spaces of water to be irrigated huh i guess i'm gonna have to figure out how that works anyway rice is like a really bad crop it's worth like nothing but when it's irrigated, it it gets grown a bit faster. It takes six days instead of eight, and you don't have to water it every day. So it's pretty good in that case. Well, that certainly happened. I'm just gonna... I already got the fishing level, so I'm just gonna start whacking and get some resources, I think. Okay, I've used up all my energy today, and I don't too much care to keep eating food on this day. I want to do it when I have days where I have more to do. Uh, I have a lot of wood. 380. You know what? I'm actually going to make another two chests out of that. I like to get a bunch of different chests and organize all my items into them. So I'm actually going to take the coal and the stone and the bait so i'll make this one you can change the color of your chest i'm gonna make this one blue and it's going to be for everything related to fishing i'm gonna make this one gray and it's going to be related to mining and this one will just be the everything else chest for now eventually i'll need to make more chests if i want them to be themed like that but uh that ought to do it seven can knock out a few more of these bonk bonk good I'm gonna put those away and we're going to go to sleep it might seem like it might be uh frustrating to organize all your stuff however there's this handy button where if you have something in the chest everything in your inventory that can be stacked into it will be so for instance i could just do this press add to existing piles and you're good no need to mess around with all that inventory management it's very, very nice. Oh, also, you can just move your bed wherever you want. That's a new thing with update 1.5. I can move this a little bit closer just in case I don't want to walk all the way out. Oh, that's an actual window. I can theme that. I can uh, make this all look a bit nicer. I don't know. Put that next to the other one. Yeah. Make it look not so empty with the TV. Not there. Level 1 fishing. There you go. Don't get anything except for uh, a bit more rod proficiency. Look at that. What did I tell you? It's worth a ton of money. Because, I mean, you're selling 25, 20 of them. 10 each and uh, 35 each, yeah. 
uh, 10 each when you craft them. That was, I realized I said each a lot. Day five, a milestone. We've made it this far. What's happening? Tomorrow it's gonna be clear and sunny and very happy spirits. Oh, oh, that's the best you can get. You'll notice that they hold up an item. Look at that. Uh, you don't know what that is. It's an important item. This is the best luck you can get, which again, affects many, many things. <gasps> My parsnips. Hello, Rob. You see this cat here? Oh, I, yes, I do. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray, poor little thing. This is a lucky day indeed. I think it likes this place. Hey, um, don't you think this farm could use a good cat? Yes. Dudley. Oh, the names you get for cats. It's so funny. Freetia. Kitchu. Prasper. No. Live long and prosper. I'm going to name it after my real cat. I still don't know exactly how I spell it. I think with a T. I haven't decided. <laughs> it's Machi. Well, little Machi, you'll be a good kitty now, okay? It almost matches my cat's color. If there was like a brownish... I don't know exactly what you call the color. If it was like a brownish, then it would be good. Of course, we just did the... Uh... Oh, we did a lot. Getting started. Since we grew a parsnip, get 100 gold for that. I have a lot of money. I'm going to have to use that. Robin the local carpenter lives north of town. In exchange for raw materials... Oh, wants us to build a coop. That's a little bit away. I need stone for that. And advancement. As you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes and increase profit and make life easier. A scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious crops. Oh, the crows. I'm very lucky that I haven't gotten any yet. Ooh, that's unfortunate indeed. No gold star ones. To our valued, valued Jojo Mart customers. Oh, I haven't even shown off Jojo Mart yet. Our team members have removed the landslide that caused by the drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that the drilling operation is entirely legal. Pursue it to in it. Blah, blah, blah. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We ap uh, apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Morris from Georgia Customer Satisfaction Representative. Uh, yeah, I don't know about Jojo Mart customer because I've never been there before. But hey, I'll add it onto the list of things to do today. So I guess our list is now to check out the mines because that's unlocked now that that clearing is open. Let's see. I got to level one fishing, so I'm not worried about that. I also got to level one farming. It does show on the screen before it shows up nightly you get farming experience by uh growing stuff so i'm actually going to throw all of these in except for one and we're gonna keep that one just in case because there's gonna be reasons that we need it uh let's see oh hold on hold on hold on uh what was it it's a daffodil right dandelion i'm gonna go grab a dandelion for jody can't forget that today as well. It doesn't matter too terribly much anyway, because the shop doesn't open until like 8, I think. Now, would I be... Surely you're an early riser. You got kids. <gasps> Finally. Get back here. Don't you have some work to do? Yes, and that work is talking to you. He's not very nice. He's another one those that sweetens up after time passes. 9 o'clock, y'all are... What are y'all, 80? I mean, Jody might be. No, she's not 80. I don't know why I had that thought. You far enough away? Hey, good. They lose a lot of friendship if they catch you going through the, the trash. I'd really recommend avoiding it. What's up, farmer guy? That's me. I'm assuming I can only go into people's houses at nine. All right. Guess I'll fish while I wait. Look at that, easy as can be, and right on time too. Surely you're in your house. Yes, this is the last person we need to meet. Hey kid, the name's Pam. I don't even know where she's been. Again, I, d I have not remembered everyone's paths. I'm sure you like digging. I don't have not remembered everyone's paths, so it can be hard to keep track of sometimes. Uh, so, the shop. I need to decide what to buy. This is 2000, so that's not even, that's not happening. 
So bottom line, I'm going to need a ton of parsnip seeds for things later. Um, I could buy the starter for uh, the recipe for grass starter, which will buy more weeds on your thing. You can get already grown rice. That's not the plant rice. Don't mix that up. The plant will be tubers. Uh, I've never shown off all of this because it wasn't available day one. Got a catalog that can basically it's an end game end dish game item where you can uh, decorate with anything you want. And there's a bunch of trees, super expensive. They take 28 days to grow, so you want to make sure that you grow them a uh, a month in advance to the well a season in advance to the season that you want them to actually come out on and the so okay I'll grab mm, 10 parsnips and 10 potatoes I'll grab 15 potatoes they're really good for money so I'm just making sure that I'm good on that front Wait, I just realized I finished this one. Uh, how to win friends. Giving gifts is a great way to build friendships. Learn each person's individual taste and you'll be popular. Give someone a gift. If I can find Leah, give her some driftwood. Girls like driftwood. I'm gonna put these away. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some mad field stacks. Make sure that you make enough to clear up an inventory space. I'm going to plant the potato seeds first, and then I'm going to do the parsnips tomorrow, and there's a good reason for that. So first of all, that's going to leave me with a bit more energy to explore the mines. When you go to the mines, you want to be decked right out, by the way. You want to be ready for God himself to jump out at you. So uh, I'm going to make sure I have plenty of that. I'm going to grab 50 wood here for a little bit of efficiency on the go that I like to do. Let's get moving. Oh, oh, that's today as well, good lord. Oh, hi there. What an eyesore. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it, it's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. This town is like 80% old people, what? <laughs> Come on. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Joja Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old-timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Ah, oh, well. If anyone else buys a Joja Co. membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. Ugh. Here, let's go inside. Hmm, what's this? Guess Vincent and Jass have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. What? What's the matter, you will? That's kind of rude, <laughs> but alright. You saw something. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. You're worrying me, Rob. Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. 10.50? Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that wrap if you have some extra time. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm glad it actually 
drop me off here. That puts me closer to our goal. This is, I'd say, after choosing what farm you're going to do, this is your second really large choice you have to make. I understand all of this. Figure that out later. This is your second large choice you have to make. You can focus on restoring this community center, or as he said, if anyone else buys a Joja membership, he'll sell it to Joja. This takes you down two just completely huge different paths in the game. Completely changes the game. Personally, if you're looking for like, air quotes, the way the game is supposed to be played, I'd recommend not buying the Joja membership, and that's what I'll be doing this run through. I will not be doing that, although there is one achievement that you get from going that way. Oh, horseradish, I do need them to make field seeds. Got a full inventory, don't worry about it. Also, I should to talk to Linus. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Please don't destroy my tent. Yeah, he, he really doesn't trust anyone. Well, just through talking to him every day, you'll, you'll know where he is, he's always up here. Just through talking to him every day, he'll get friendlier. Hmm. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably a good ore down there. But a dark place undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. A sword! You received a rusty sword. Better than nothing. Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurers Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself and I might think about making you a member. Alright. And thus introduces another huge part of the game. Jeez, we're just getting hit with it today, aren't we? I'm going to leave a chest here. I find it uh, very useful. Obviously, we've picked up a lot of items, so I'm just going to... I didn't find Jody. I got distracted. Oh, you hate to see it. Anyway, so you're going to want minimum your pickaxe and your sword when you go adventuring down here. So, the goal is hit rocks, find ladder. Each rock you break has a 2% chance to give you a ladder. You will then proceed to the next floor. There's 120 floors to go through, so don't worry about going through too fast. There's enemies here as well. These starting floors are going to have really easy enemies, and they each have a 5% chance of dropping the ladder. That is, if there isn't one already spawned on the floor. You can find a lot of new materials here. That's why I put that uh, chest there, because uh, you're gonna need it. So, like, I would go over all the things that you could find here, but... I'll just go over the important things on screen. I have another pop-up that will tell you just the general spawnings. Important things being enemies, ores, uh, that's really about it, to be honest, because enemies all have their own drop tables, like these slimes drop uh, slime. Destroy all the boxes and crates you find because you can get some very valuable stuff, like the topaz. Main reason you come down here are for all of these ores and coal. Coal's very important as well. I do have two skills associated with this area that is mining and combat. They are both their own thing. And we reach level five. Every five levels, you'll be able to go back to the surface and you can deposit everything you don't need. So I'm going to deposit all of this for now, and I'll probably grab what I need to bring it out. You can also store your weapons here, because obviously you won't need them if you're not coming here. For now. Then you can take the elevator right on back. So I'm going to try and get to floor 10 today, I suppose. That's a good goal. Whether we have the energy to do that or not. Yet to be seen. I'm going to do a lot of mining first. I don't care about the combat level. Since you don't use energy when you swing a sword, the only reason you want a higher combat level is to get a few craftable things, and it increases your HP as well. If there's a ladder on the floor, by the way, rocks will not spawn ladders. This is going to be probably the most lucrative trip I've taken into the mines on my first day than I've ever had. Boom. Floor 10. Easy. The time could pass a lot without you realizing it, so be careful with that. Just throw away the mixed seeds. Leather boots are another equipable. 
usually increases your defense and immunity. Immunity is how quickly you will get rid of a status effect. Defense reduces your damage. So I'm going to leave the rusty sword. No reason for me to bring that back. I'll stack. I got two cherry bombs. Ooh. I'll leave those in there for now. Take whatever I want. Copper ore, coal will be good. Topaz. Ah, oh, geez. I'll grab the dandelion just in case I happen to find Jody out there. Otherwise, uh, are things going to go over? Gunther can tell us about the amethyst and the topaz. I will tell you to be very, very careful with your energy, health, and time in the mines. It's a lot of things that you have to juggle around. Run out of health, you'll pass out. They'll find you outside the mines and you'll be able to go on your merry way. Run out of energy, you pass out and you gotta pay a huge fee. Same thing if the time hits two o'clock. So you wanna be really, really careful with that. It catches a lot of people off guard because you can't see how dark it gets after hours. So be careful. That's all I ask. Um, I'm gonna try and find Jody, please. I think houses usually close at eight, so I might have just missed out on this gift. I'm, I'm so bad at giving people gifts. Oh, that's unfortunate, dude. That's so unfortunate. Well, all we missed out on was some money and a lot of friendship with Jody. That's really it. I don't think we've gone up a mining level. We might have, because I got really lucky with all the copper ore that we dug up. Oh, our kitty. It, the, the cat doesn't do anything. It's just there for funsies. Level one farming, yes. And we got a new crafting recipe, basic fertilizer and the scarecrow. This is important. This is why I didn't plant my parsnips yet. Got hoe proficiency and water can proficiency. Watering can being important. And we got level mining. That is crazy. It usually takes two trips for me to get level one mining because it's it takes a while. You do not get a lot of experience per rock broken. You can see how much the parsnips are. Uh, I forget exactly how much the quality is for an increase. It's a multiplier. Looking from that, it might be about a 10% increase for silver. And we'll go over the other two quality marks when we get them. The higher le your level gets in a particular profession, the higher quality items you'll be grabbing. Plus there's items that can boost them as well. Tomorrow will be clear and sunny and we have bad luck indicated by the bat. It's not the worst luck you can get, but one of the things that's involved with luck is getting a ladder in the mines. So you might want to watch out for that. I usually don't go to the mines at all if it's a bad luck day. Hi there, good morning. Notice that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore, that's good. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around here. Here, I want you to have them. Why, thank you, thank you, thank you. Learned how to craft a furnace. This item is your bread and butter. <laughs> Let me tell you what. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you've smelted a few... <laughs> you know who I, what I always say. Who, who smelt it, dealt it. Uh, a few copper bars. Consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Oh, baby. Oh, gosh. Forging ahead, craft a furnace, and deeper in the mine, reach level 40. Those are just general goals. Those, like, some of them, most of them actually won't give you any rewards for them. And we have mail as well. My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem. Now, this must have been something that was changed in a recent update. You see the letter from the local wizard. So this didn't used to be a goal. It used to be, remember that goal that we had? Wow, this is stuffed. The goal that we had to meet everyone? That used to include the wizard, which you can't go to see until day six minimum. I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventurer's spirit. That much I can tell. If you can slay 10 slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventurer's guild. Be careful. That's a lot of things to do. Look at this list. We can we can go to different floors now. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, it's hard to say what my goal for the day is. Two more parsnips. Uh, well. 
First of all, I'm going to do a lot of planting. But before that, I'm going to do some crafting. Uh, what should the goal of the day be? I guess just do our missions. I have been putting that thing on the side because I think it's very, very cute. Uh, we're just going to do some missions, baby. Uh, one thing to note, you can sell vegetables at the general store. I like to just put them in the box. It's not like I need the money now. So, going into crafting. Sap makes fertilizer. Fertilizer is your best friend. I always use it when I have nothing better to use. I'll use all of our current sap. We're going to be able to get more sap if we need it later on, so... I thought I could hold down to quick do it. 56. I'll put the rest in. Oh, I don't have a thing for sap anymore. I'll break those chodes open today. Oh, geez. Get these. Oh, get these donated. That donated. I'll take all of these as well. Speaking of crafting, we can make a furnace that takes 25 stone and 20 copper ore. Luckily, we've got a ridiculous amount of copper ore from last night, so we have enough for a furnace. And then, whenever you want to smelt a bar, just five of an ore and one coal. Bada boom, bada bing. And that won't take very long. Seven, eight, nine. What you can do now is place fertilizer on spots that you haven't planted any plants. And that will give you a greater chance to get a higher quality of that product. Obviously, this raises the value of it quite a bit. And we specifically do need good parsnips. That's why I've been grabbing a lot of them. So that'll be very useful. We got a mission for smelting a bar and I didn't even notice it. With with all that done, I'm going to pull put all of our trash back and I'm going to start watering. I didn't plant one of the parsnips. Oh jeez. All right, I'll do that. And I'll start watering and we'll get our day started. Ah, oh, geez, look at my energy. That's why I don't like to have too many crops out at one time. I also, what's the recipe for a scarecrow? Wood, coal, and fiber. All right, I do wanna make one of those because I don't need all that fiber. What was it, like 20 or something? I don't know. That's the secret, I don't know. Scarecrow. So. Scarecrows are something that I want to talk about because I think it is so ridiculously funny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. The scarecrow will protect all of these crops except for this one in the corner. And I fully expect it to be eaten. Uh, I think that's probably the best spot for the scarecrow. So the crows are in a, a perfect example of how in-depth this game gets. So crows have a chance to spawn every night and they can eat some crops. Now you'd think it would be as simple as, oh, there's just like a 5% chance for a crop to get eaten if it's not protected by a scarecrow. Well, that's not the case. They go overboard with every single system in this game and I love it, but it makes certain things very hard to figure out. So the way crows actually work, for every 16 crops you have, there is a possibility for one crow to appear. This works up to a number to four crows. So that's like what? That's f that's a lot of crops. It's like 50 something crops to have the maximum amount of crows to spawn. Each crow has a 30% chance of trying to eat something. So like it it's needless. Oh jeez. I you know what? I can just donate a lot of things. Also Harvey's here of all people. It's Saturday, I guess he probably doesn't have to work. Uh, so, amethysts, topaz, and quartz. So I haven't gotten any of those rewards he's to talked about. Although we do have a new book to read. On foraging, the local woods and mountains are a great place to find any wild produce. A good for forager will clear out any weeds, stumps, or stones from these areas, so the wild produce has plenty of space, space to grow. Expert foragers know that the secret to Cultivating wild food is so that can be grown on the farm. Isn't that amazing? It is amazing. I'm not sure if I even fully internalized all that that I read. Can I do anything for you? No, not particularly. Just wanted to talk. Oh, uh, what was this? Oh, for making a scarecrow, we got 100G. Okay. Uh, that leaves us with build a coop that's a while away. Give someone a gift. That should be easy. 40, that's a while away. 
Oh, that's right, we still need to meet the wizard. I almost completely forgot. I don't think I'm gonna do the slimes today because we have bad luck and I'm just not willing to do all that. Uh, speaking of increasing the power of your weapons, since we did, I'm not gonna hold that just in case I accidentally give it to someone. Speaking of increasing your weapons, uh, you can upgrade tools with five of a bar and a certain amount of money. 2,000 gold for your copper ones and five copper bars. The gold's going to be the main stopping point there. I'm going to be able to get plenty of copper. So speaking of which, you know what? Clint likes copper bars. This is a fun gift. Thanks. That gives us a little bit of friendship with him and 100G. Easy. Oh yeah, hey, Sebastian's hanging out with Sam. What? I didn't hear you. I'm busy thinking about something. One sec, I gotta beat this level. They're so invested, it's very, very cute. Yeah, I'm safe, good. If I were to open this trash can, I don't want to do it because I've already given Sam a Joja Cola, and I know that he likes me a fair bit, so I don't want to, like, ruin that. Yo, Shane, why are you bothering me? I want to be alone. Oof. Wizard's Tower is right here. Ah, come in. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths, mediary between physical and ethereal, master of the seven elementals, keeper of the sacred sh- you get the point. And you, Rob, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold! You've seen one before, haven't you? They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. I'm not sure why they've moved to, into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Hmm, you found a golden scroll written in, written in an unknown language. Most interesting. Stay here, I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. I found the note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimu, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of the scroll. Hmm, one with the forest. What do they mean? Aha! Come here. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. You look a little too happy there, bud. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. I don't want... Oh, sure. Yeah, got energy from that. Um, what what mushroom did you say was in that? Caramel top footstool or what it was it? I don't. Hmm. I question the integrity of that mushroom. Very high quality. Cutscene, by the way. You've gained the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Jun Junimo scrolls. No follow-up? That's it? Hold on, I feel like I gotta talk to you again after that. 
Ah, uh, yes, I have predicted your arrival a long time ago, young Rob. That's it. That's all you got for me. The wizard's hut is actually, or tower rather, is actually kind of important. What are you doing? I only allow those who I trust in there. I'd recommend coming by every now and again, get the wizard on your side, because it could be very useful for you. Although I would say that for everyone, because everyone has a few useful perks, but hey, that's just me. All right, I've used up all my energy, so I think we're gonna call it an early night tonight. Uh, put away all this. Look at this. Boom. Easy as that. Sell that. I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing else I want to sell. I don't have any leaks. In fact, if I do have leaks, I think I actually left them at the other place. Yeah, I don't have anything else to sell. I'm surprised I got two dwarven helms, dwarvish helms already. I know what to do with that, so that's fine. Cool. Well, gotta go ahead, head off to bed. The next day we'll be able to access a lot more even still. We need to make our ways a little bit deeper into the mines. Let's look at all these. Initiation, we have that. We need to check the uh, the community center now that we have translated it at the witch's hut. And I think we'll be able to get a coop really soon, to be honest. Like, I know we don't have a lot of money, but we'll be gaining that much. Once those potatoes come up, listen, it's over. Anyway, I think that'll be it. See you all tomorrow. Good night.